Right, I thought I'd do a bit of Redback XR shooting. I'm going to be shooting anyway, so I thought I might as well film it. And this way I can show you how it shoots and give you some tips and advice from what I've experienced. So you can get this for around about 80 quid. It's only 20 quid dearer than the standard Redback. So for that I think it's amazing really. Easy to get bolts. Yeah, you can only shoot one set, one type of bolts, but at least they're easy to find and very cheap. The standard uh, XR won't look like this. I've modded mine quite a lot already. I'm, I'm waiting until they sell some more magazines so I can stop them up, and you can load them up and just put them in. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's a good thing, and the, I think the main selling point for me is the price. So I'm just going to shoot it, and then I'll. Uh, I'll shoot it once and I'll tell you if there was anything I had to do. I'm not really going to go for accuracy, I'm just going to be shooting my target. And I'll have the target so you can see that as well. Alright, as far as I'm aware, that one loaded perfectly. So safety off. That one loaded perfectly. But I like to check anyway. That one loaded good. That one seems good. And that one did. So that was a perfect cycle through. You sometimes will have issues, and I find it seems to be that you need to load the bolts in as level as possible. You do not want them twisted slightly, because they come out twisted, and then they can hit. Sometimes they can hit the catch, <coughs> or and there's, a, there's a couple of little different things that can happen. As long as you keep an eye on it, it's fine. So I'll reload the magazine and have another shoot. Let's see if I can show you the magazine being reloaded. So you just press that button at the top, pull it off, and then, I don't think there are actually instructions in the, the manual telling you how to load it, but I put the, let me get this right so I can do it easily. You may not be able to see this very well. So I put it under, and then sort of in, and you want it as horizontal as possible. Next one under and in. I'm holding it in a weird position, so it's a little bit difficult to do. In. And you want them as horizontal as possible, as I say. And uh, in. It's slightly easier than that if you're not holding your arms up doing it. So then put that in the back, in the front, and that's ready to go. So as long as they're flat, it will shoot better, but I would recommend checking every time, just in case. Right, that one seems good to me. And again, you can sort of tell from one side if it's level or not, because you'll see, you can tell if it's not level because it'll be up like that or up like that. There you go, that was another perfect cycle through. I don't know if this has made a difference, but the only thing I have done differently since I first shot this, I've started lubing that bar just there as well. So I put the rail lube on the string, the rails, and I also put it on that bar just there, the one that hits the switches. Um, well, it's actually the side bits, but you know what I mean. I've started putting a bit of rail lube on that. Don't know if that's the difference, or I don't know if they just gradually 
break in anyway. Load this up here. So the main thing though, try and get your bolts in as horizontal as possible. And then they'll come out better. But this is really fun to shoot. Really enjoy it. I don't know why. You know, it's, it's no different than the other crossbows apart from the magazine. But there's something about it, I just enjoy shooting the crossbow of the magazine. Right, that one's come out good. I'm going to check that one. That's still good. Flick that just in case. It was down there, but I wasn't sure because it looked like it was slightly on at an angle. Right, as I mentioned, I'm not going for um, accuracy at the minute, I'm just shooting at the target. So let's load that up again. So obviously, if you add a load of magazines, you wouldn't have to keep doing this, and that is sort of what will be good about it when they're available. Well, that don't take long. By the way, if you like the look of these accessories, I make and sell most of these. So I make the slings to sell, the quivers, which you can have on the other crossbows. Probably don't really need them on this, but what that would do is I could shoot the magazine and then load it up with these. The bayonet, which is also a cocking aid, cocking handle aid, is not sharp here. This is pointy, but it works as a cocking aid and as a bear. Yeah, and these handles you can get. And I've put a riser on mine to bring it down a bit. And I made the stock myself from an existing stock off of something else. But you can make those quite easily and buy stock extenders. Right, that one is good. So, in conclusion, as long as you check the bolts are uh, lined up nice and horizontal and put them in the magazine nice and horizontal, this should shoot perfectly every time. I'm not really sure if this is made to be a really rapid fire, quick magazine crossbow, but it is still very quick compared to loading bolts in every time. But I do think it's worth checking. I'm not sure if my crossbow gradually just wore in, you know, sometimes these things just eventually start running better eventually after a while, or it's the lubing of that bar that goes across, but I think it's worth doing that just to see. So that's it really, main tips, make sure the bolts are horizontal, make sure they drop down well and make sure you lube the rail the string and that bar at least every two magazines all right i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found this helpful i'll be doing plenty of xr redback videos and i do lots of other redback and many crossbow videos if you're interested in those so don't forget to subscribe all right hope you enjoyed the video see you later